Okay, hello again. What I'd like to do is demonstrate the use of variables uh, within a uh, SQL Server Integration Services package. And I use um, variables um, to in situations where I need to filter records. So, for example, if we're pulling uh, in a within a package merging multiple files together. So, say three files. One's uh, say a bill amount file and one might be relate to the customer's use of SMS's and a, another one might relate to say the customer's use of broadband and we want to merge all three of those files and each of those files contains multiple months of data. We may want to just apply a filter so we only pull through information on the current month. In that situation, if I applied a traditional, a traditional filter to those files, I'd have to go through to in each file and then update that, um, update the filter. And that becomes a bit of a pain, particularly if we're running that package every month. We then have to go into each one of those places where we've got a filter and then um, apply that. So what uh, a variable does is it helps us and it means we just have to update that filter in one location. So what I'll do is I'll create a new package and I'll call this um, variables uh, variable um, call it variable and then variables filter because I want to use a variable in conjunction with a filter. What I'll do, need to, as demonstrated in previous uh, demos, need to start off with a data flow task uh, as an envelope. Then I'll pull through a, want to pull through multiple flat file sources. So we'll pull in some segment information. Um, I'll need to create a new connection manager. Uh, we'll just call this segment browse just need to actually find the right file, here we go so we'll pull in some <laughs> the segment information, the column names are in the first row that's all looking pretty good so here we go, we've got multiple multiple files, uh, sorry, multiple records in there. Great. And then we'll just call this segment. So in this example, we'll apply a filter just to pull through Soho customers. Um, so what we'll do is apply a conditional split. So this is the equivalent of a filter. So we'll do this tr the traditional way without a vari without a variable, and then we'll do it with a variable. So segment equals. Better spell that right, otherwise it won't work. And then if we ran that transformation, so I'll connect it to a, another transformation there, but only to string a data viewer there. So we just want to look at the Soho segment information at a data viewer so we can see what the output is from from the um, from this conditional split. And when we run that, we should see only the SOHO information um, passes through the conditional split. So we have 23 rows of data, goes through the conditional split uh, to apply the filter, only SOHO information and four pop at the other end. So that's fine in a situation where we only have one uh, data source, but so, uh, but if we've got multiple streams of uh, of 
of data within the um, within the package we would then have to apply a filter to each one of those if we wanted to filter them all down in the same way but what we can do is create a variable and what you do is you just go onto the um, onto the workbench right click at the top there is variables and what we'll do is create a user defined variable so we add a variable the variable might be um, segment um, maybe a segment filter the data type is a string because we've just pulled it through from a text file and then the uh, the value is defined as Soho so what we need to do is then apply um, that variable integrated into the filter so at the moment we've got it hard hard coded in but what we can do is as you see up here we actually have a list of variables here so segment has now appeared we can add that in oh, we've got to say add that in and that's cool we then test that by uh, by running it there we go it's done exactly the same thing and the handy thing about using that variable approach is debug stop debugging is if we had multiple filters to apply so I'm just going to copy this and paste it and again so this is a replicate paste it can it'll then work across all of the of these um, all of these little um, tra uh, I don't know what they're called sub packages um, so debug so if I just used a traditional filter I'd have to go in and go and I wanted to look at a different segment I'd have to change that from Soho to consumer and then I'd have to go into this one here and go change it to consumer so just to demonstrate that I'll just pick another segment so uh, small small business uh, we'll update this to small business so we can then go um, variables segment let's change that to small business and we'll save that and in theory what will pop out the end is just the small business customers there we go so that filter has then been applied to all three so that's a really handy little trick uh, within SQL Server integration services. So that wraps up this demo. Feel free to have a look at my other SQL Server um, integration services demonstrations that I have on YouTube.